the fact that MIT are willing to invest $320,000 into me is crazy. Like, um, I didn't think they would value me to that kind of, sort of extent. Now that I've been there for a year, I, I mean, I hope I've um, sort of proven my worth. I've tried to take as many classes as I can. I've tried to um, take as many opportunities as I can. I'd like to think the sort of person I've become at MIT is something that I could have never achieved anywhere else and I hope to develop even more and more. Initially when I started at MIT, um, it, didn't, it wasn't too bad. It is, as they say, like a fire hose of knowledge. I was um, keeping up with all the homeworks, doing all the, um, all the work that I was given in class. And then um, my friends in the UK started sending questions on the group chat, can we get help with this and this and this? And I was looking at these questions, I was like, this is just, like everything what we do at MIT is just almost so much more than the questions that my friends were asking back home. And then one day I thought, let me just um, search on Wikipedia all my professors. And then they all came back as some were Nobel Prize winners, some had written the greatest textbooks in, the, um, in their fields, some were, you know, used to be part of NASA. That's when it really hit me when I worked, found out that the work I was doing was so much more compared to other universities. And then all my professors were unbelievably high up in their fields. So at the NCS with um, all the Oxbridge tutorials that we did, the sort of mentality at the NCS was um, study the hardest things possible and whatever comes up in the exams will be, will hopefully be easy. And I took that mentality to MIT. I would answer all the hardest questions that they gave us. I would try to answer everything they gave us. I wouldn't lay up. And then when it came to the exams, um, I felt fully prepared. You know, in my first year, I, I got A's in all of my classes. So um, yeah, the. Be, studying at the NCS definitely prepared me to go to MIT. Well, the first year is really for just discovering who you want to be, what you want to study and, what, and how to live at MIT. And now that I've been there for a year, I've um, realised that I want to, although I still do want to major in physics, I'm going to take a physics major that requires less classes, but that allows me to really concentrate in astrophysics. And then I'm going to also hopefully double major in maths with computer science. MIT have a really good um, astrophysics uh, research institute. I actually do have a job there now, but it's just as sort of like an admin sort of um, assistant. That, that is definitely where I want to be in the next few years. The best place to hopefully make contacts will be MIT, you know, in terms of the, the space and um, space research world. Hopefully, yeah, one day I am able to really be heavily involved in some sort of space exploration. My dream as a kid and still now will always be to go to space. Maybe that'll happen one day, who knows? If I can go to MIT, I, I might be able to do that. The NCS is the place where I learned how to study super efficiently and work really hard, but it's also the place where I learned to believe in myself and to really work hard for my dreams.